Hello and welcome back to East Origin. Previously, Unico was able to defeat Kishgal through making the strategic move of using oven mitts to handle a fire sword. However, now Unica has bigger problems than just some warrior dude. Unica has to deal with the most hated of all beings, a wizard. Specifically, this wizard, Dallas. Yeah, Unica's having none of Dallas's crap. Not all is prevented from telling Dallas to shut up, so... Oh yeah, Dallas remains long-winded anyway. Sorry! And I love how Dallas is like, well, obviously. Have you been paying attention? Well, uh, that did the opposite of work. Let the beatdown begin! Thankfully, Unica is the tank. No! If this hits wrong, it's going to destroy the planet in five minutes! Unforeseen Contingency! Yeah, the difference here is that Unica has actual friends, unlike Dallas... He's not a city in Texas. Unlike Dallas, who only has associates, colleagues, and slaves. Unica felt strong swelling up in her body.
Yeah, breaking his barrier probably doesn't mean much to a dude with about a billion other magic tricks. Dallas does us a favor by transforming to his ultimate form immediately. Okay, Unica's final boss is Dallas. Dallas was the next to last boss of the East 2, but here he's somewhat more involved. Oh, he still sprays a ton of projectiles at you, but he has a really ton of attacks, and he's fought in three phases. The first phase is fairly typical. You just need to find a good point where you can run in and bash him. and try to avoid taking damage as much as possible, because this is probably his easiest phase. I equipped the Spirit Necklace uh, just as a precautionary measure. Though, so it's up in the air whether or not I would actually have needed it. There are many ways this uh, fight can uh, turn out wrong. In phase two, you need to keep an eye on the color of uh, his uh, barrier and then use the appropriate uh, skill to break it. Each hit will only do one damage to the barrier, but uh, the barrier doesn't really have that many hit points, like maybe double digit. This thing is probably the most uh, threatening part uh, of uh, his attacks at this point because uh, it not only uh, damages you, it creates a damage floor. In any case, every time you break the barrier, her his uh, weak point is exposed, either until you deal one third of his current life bar or a certain amount of time passes. So it's possible uh, for you to have to go through more than three cycles. Yeah, I screwed up on that one, so we're definitely going to get four. His attacks are very depending on no. Uh, which skill you have to uh, use to break the barrier. And uh, his uh, barrier pattern is fixed. It will always go uh, Wind, Earth, Fire. Conveniently, the order that you actually get the skills in. thinking about this recently and how Dallas' final form actually uh, resembles uh, Garuda's ultimate transformation in Mask of the Sun. Okay, in the final phase, you will actually have to uh, attack Dallas' options and destroy those because they're actually linked to his barrier. As you can see, whenever you hit one of them, the uh, life meter for Dallas' uh, magic barrier goes down, so their hit points are linked in some way. 
Stay out of the center of that vortex. Anyone who's played Oath and Valgana, yeah, Oath and Valgana does not need that advice. In any case, uh, whenever you break the barrier, it works the same as his previous uh, phase, one third or time passed. He has all of his attacks from previous phases, plus the attacks of his options, the Vortex, and another one which we're going to be uh, seeing. Oh yeah, when that thing appears, he's gonna beam. The best... it's really hard to avoid, so the best way to avoid taking damage is to use your burst move, which always negates uh, any damage uh, that uh, comes in against you. You won't always uh, have a uh, burst ready to go uh, when he's using that beam, so do your best. is actually a pretty good character as far as this boss fight is concerned, because her whirlwind skill can actually boost her out of the way of uh, the beam if you're uh, positioned just right. Plus, her skills are pretty good for damaging in general. Most of it is just patience and not letting Dallas grind you down. it for Dallas. Don't worry though, there will be more Dallas beatings to come. I'd argue, but I was mortally wounded. Okay, Dallas may have disintegrated into a pile of potential spell components, but there's still one thing left to deal with.
Well, East is no longer going to crash like pretty much every other floating continent ever. Well, at least Fina and Rhea admit that the seal probably won't last forever. One and two, uh, both Fina and Rhea end up being associated with the Tovas in some way. Do not envy Father Xi'an. Oh, wait, wait, never mind. The game said it for me. I'm just letting the game happen right now. Right, the road is. Once the goddesses send the signal, of course.
Yeah, there's a range limit on teleport spells. Sorry. Dana's suspicions are correct. Well, that's okay. is looking pretty green already. Blowing up the demonic influence seems to be some pretty good plant food. Okay, and that's it. For Unica's story anyway, which is why I won't be giving a final verdict. That can wait until the whole game is over and done with. So we're about a third of the way through this game, and it's still looking pretty durable. Durable? Doable! Yes, I have been throwing an East Origin disc around my room for a while. The disc is a very durable game. Uh, no, it's still very doable. I've always considered uh, East Origin a lengthy project, uh, but not an insurmountable one. My ultimate dream, the impossible dream uh, Let's Play, would probably be a 100% run of Durl Angrisser. Which I can pretty safely say is something that's not happening.
Yeah, Jeff Nussbaum, aka Deuce. Uh, was a uh, fan translator uh, for a while, and his translations uh, were used uh, for uh, East Origin and cleaned up in a couple of places. Deuce also provided the fan translation for Mask of the Sun and uh, Kefin Lost City of Sand. And he also did stuff on the uh, fan translation of uh, Oath and Falgana. So, really, if you want to talk to anybody about translating East, he's the guy you need to go to. And it's a bittersweet ending. Unica has managed to save the land of East from the power of demons, but now she needs to spend the rest of her life on an island with Hugo. So, next up we'll be tackling Hugo's route. Oh, what's that little glint over there by the Rhoda? We'll find that out a quite a bit later, though. See you next time! on East Origins when we start with Hugo the Wizard. Bye!